R dub here. Hey Dan. Yeah, hi, yeah, hi. Yeah, just just so Holly and Ginger know, I'm I'm only I'm only working on my fourth beer. I'm not drunk. Yeah, I got to thinking about something, you know, one of my grandkids got back a hold of me and um my daughter and I, we kind of had it out a little bit because uh, she worships this drug dealer, career criminal person, Mary Ann Britz. And, uh, <clears throat> and so, you know, I, I got to thinking about stuff I'd done. And, you know, nothing, I mean, I did some, I, I broke the law in my time, but it was a lot of good old boy shit, you know, uh, getting drunk, getting in fights with other good old boys. And then there was uh, <clears throat> there was that uh, that that police car chase through Smithville. Back I was running uh, running this old married gal Geraldine Heath, and um, I uh, ended up uh, I don't know. She told me this feller was messing with her and this and that. Me and my best friend Junior, we was up there drinking in the bar underage. <laughs> Maybe that's why that hadn't showed up on my my case net. Anyway, anyhow, Junior and I was up there drinking underage in the bar that she's working in. So me and old Junior went and slashed his tires. And the next thing I know, we're being chased by the police. Had a 1977 Ford Courier with a... F I think that some bitch had a five-speed in it. Anyway, so the police started chasing us through Smithville. And I had a hell of a lead on them. I mean, we was we was out on them. I mean, we was hitting them curves, and I was dropping gears and shifting and, and this and that. And we was outrunning them. And by God, we would have outrun them, too, if the slave cylinder hadn't have gone out on my goddamn truck. Well, the rest is history. Geraldine had to bail me out of jail. Goddamn, she left poor Junior's ass in there. His mom had to come get him. All right. R.W. Out.